A retinal detachment is the separation of the retina from its underlying layer, which is the choroid. A retinal detachment leads to profound loss of vision, which is surgically treatable. A retinal detachment is caused by a pre-existing or sudden onset hole or tear in the retina. The vitreous body, which is seen in front of the retina, liquefies and the fluid from the hole seeps under the retina and causes a separation of the retina from its underlying surface. A retinal detachment usually presents as a sudden blur in vision, also appreciated like a curtain-like effect coming from one side and may or may not be associated with sudden onset of floaters or flashes. Some patients with retinal detachment may experience a slight blur or a dark shadow on one side in their field of vision which may increase with time or suddenly leading to sudden loss of vision in their central field. They are advised to come immediately for a retina review and might need surgery at the earliest. The most common procedures which are used in the treatment of total retinal detachments are scleral buckling and MIVS or minimally invasive vitreous surgery. The decision to do a scleral buckle or a minimally invasive vitreous surgery depends on the detachment as well as the location of the tear in the retina and is better left to the surgeon to decide. In cases where a scleral buckle is being done for a patient, usually no post-operative positioning is required, whereas in cases where a vitrectomy along with gas or oil tamponade is done, in those cases a special position is instructed to the patient which is usually taken for around 2-3 to three weeks depending on each individual case. It is advisable to continue all your anti-hypertensive and diabetes medications also in the post-operative period. Usually after a scleral buckling surgery, the patients have a red eye and mild pain. They may or may not have slight drooping of the lid which is temporary and also slight amount of double vision can happen in few cases which again is a temporary phenomenon. In some cases, serious complications such as an infection can ha happen which needs urgent surgical intervention. In some cases, a recurrent detachment can occur after retinal surgery. These are the cases which usually presents with long-standing RDs and also post-trauma. In some cases, membranes may develop over the retinal surface which may or may not lead to a recurrent detachment but may need intervention at a later stage.